Hi, today is August 20th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1342 for the year, DM in the Sidewalk. In the age before papyrus, people would chisel direct messages to each other in stone. Some people had no friends, but they still wanted messages. So they would carve DM in the stone and hope that someone would come along and direct message them. This tradition continues to this day. So if you have the time and you are walking and you see that someone has written DM in the sidewalk concrete, go and get a hammer and chisel and send a direct message. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It just has to be direct. I would have done it yesterday when I saw that someone had written DM in the sidewalk concrete somewhere in Brooklyn, but I didn't have the time. Poem number 1343, People in Brooklyn. People in Brooklyn with their WFMU shirts and their candy asses and their kids and their cars and their dogs that will hop right into the cars. I hope we're going somewhere good, said a golden retriever from Prospect Heights. People in Brooklyn going to the park, going to museums, going to the sit and wonder and whatnot. People in Brooklyn are perfectly fine. I don't know why I wrote candy asses before. I don't know why I'm not taking it out. And I'm ending this one right here, even though it wants to be longer. Poem number 1344, Candy Ass. Yesterday was not a dipshit day. I don't remember disliking anyone I saw or thinking anybody was a dipshit. And I enjoyed myself the entire day. And the thing about candy asses is that it's not even a thing. The term is candy ass, which Oxford Languages defines as a timid or cowardly or despicable person. I didn't see anyone timid or cowardly or despicable in Brooklyn yesterday. In fact, out of all of the people in Brooklyn I saw yesterday, I might have been the most candy ass of them all. Poem number 1345, Candy Asses. I don't know why I said people in Brooklyn with their candy asses. Not only did I not see anyone who was timid, cowardly, or despicable, I didn't see anyone whose ass looked like candy. I don't even know what that would mean. What kind of candy would someone's ass have to look like for me to disparage that ass by comparing it to candy? There might be some kinds of candy that are so attractive that if somebody's ass looked like that candy, I might think that's a nice ass and I wouldn't disparage it. I would admire it. But I didn't see any asses like that yesterday, nor did I see any asses that looked like ugly candy either. No beautiful candy asses, no ugly candy asses, no candy asses at all. This doesn't mean that there are no candy asses in Brooklyn. It just means that I didn't see any. Poem number 1346, Pie Ass. Back in the early 80s, Tom Keener and I were at Michael Board's place, and there was at least one other person there, and I believe she was from Germany, but I'm not certain. What I am certain of is that at some point, Tom Keener bent over in front of her to pick up something or something, and she said delightedly, your ass is like pie. I think we all laughed, and I think Tom was a bit perplexed. She definitely meant it as a compliment. She definitely liked Tom's pie ass. Poem number 1347, Dig Your Own. Something I have learned is that you don't need the internet to go down a rabbit hole. Anytime you want to, you can dig your own. Sometimes when you don't want to, you can dig your own. And the last poem of the day, poem number 1348, I Never Said. I never said what I, was, what I was doing in Brooklyn yesterday. I never said why I had to go to Brooklyn in the first place. At some point in the future, I might look back at the Brooklyn non-dipshit day, candy asses and candy ass rabbit hole poems and try to remember why I went to Brooklyn that day in the first place. My future self might be frustrated with me if I never say, but you know what? Fuck my future self. He doesn't have to know everything. I never said, and I may never say, and my future self may just have to live with that. Okay, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you. I do. Thank you.